In this Adobe Premiere tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make objects magically appear or disappear with a magic wand. We'll also use the lens flare effect in Adobe Premiere to add a glow to the tip of the wand. And then also we can animate that glow to become brighter when you are doing your magical tricks. To do this, you wanna shoot your footage on a tripod. You need to have a shot of you and your magic wand moving. And then without moving the tripod, you need to have a shot of the object appearing. Basically, you just put the object in frame and then record for a bit. So here I have a clip of the magic wand coming in. I did two takes. I think I'm gonna use take two. So I'm gonna figure out where this comes in, the hand, and then I'll press Q on my keyboard to trim everything to the left. Then I'll move the playhead forward and find out where the magic wand goes out of the screen and go just a little bit further. And then I'll press C on my keyboard to trim it. Then I'm gonna move forward and find out where my object comes in. So here I'm placing the object in. Then you need to make sure you get out of the way so you don't create any shadows. Find out where that clip is. I'll press C to trim it right there. And then I'll move forward a bit. That seems to be enough bananas. And I'll press W to trim everything to the right. I don't need this clip in the middle. I'll right click, ripple delete. I also don't need the audio. So I'll right click, unlink, then I can delete the audio tracks. Now I have two clips. I have my magic wand clip, and then I have my bananas clip. I can put the bananas on top of the magic wand. Let's find out where the magic wand actually does its action. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit by sliding the slider on the timeline. And then let's see, the magic wand right there. Bam, that's where the bananas appear. So I put the bananas, but that doesn't look very good. What we need to do is mask out the bananas. So click the bananas layer, then in effects controls, click the pen tool. We want to mask out the bananas. I'm gonna press the tilde key, that's the key to the left of the number one key that makes it full screen. Then I can mask out everything. I accidentally moved the seed when I was putting the bananas on. So I'm going to mask it out so it doesn't look like it changed position. And then you wanna use as few points as possible. When I click and drag, I get that Bezier curve. So that's very helpful for keeping your mask nice and tight. And then close the mask. We can use this tool right here to feather the mask. And if you notice that your mask is feathering too much into your banana, you can go ahead and then adjust this point so it doesn't attack the banana. So there I have a nice mask. I think that works pretty well. I wanna make sure that I have the shadow of the banana and then I still have some shadow of my hand so that feather will help there. Press the tilde key to go back to not full screen and let's see how that looks. Great, so already we have an effect that works pretty well. Let's go ahead and nest these two clips. So select both the clips, right click, nest. We'll call this magic bananas. This way we can put an adjustment layer on top of this clip and it will have the lens flare. We want the lens flare to affect both layers. So we put them in a nested sequence and then we'll use an adjustment layer. So we wanna find out right where the bananas appear is right here. I'm gonna press M to add a marker. So there's a marker right there for the bananas. And then I'm gonna come back to the beginning of the clip and let's see, when does my magic start? My magic starts probably not here, but when I bring my wand in, I'm like magic. So now my magic starts right here. Over in the project panel, I can click this icon next to the trash can to make a new item. And I'm going to make an adjustment layer. Press okay and then drag the adjustment layer onto the timeline. I know I need the adjustment layer to be longer so I can make it longer. So probably about this long, we can come check. Definitely the wand is gone. So I can then trim the adjustment layer right there by pressing C and deleting, or I could have dragged the adjustment layer. Now let's go back to the beginning of it. I'm going to padlock this lower layer so I don't accidentally select it. Then at the First frame of the adjustment layer, I wanna to go to my effects window and type in lens flare. Select lens flare and then drag it onto the adjustment layer. And here we have a lens flare. If we click on flare center, we can move this lens flare around, which is really convenient. So I'm gonna put it on the tip of my magic wand. We can change the type of lens that's making the flare. 
if we go to a larger uh, telephoto lens, a 105 here, it's gonna be a tighter lens flare. We can also adjust the brightness. So I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Just something like that. That looks like a good magic wand brightness. And then I'm going to click all of these stopwatches on the first frame to set initial keyframes. Then I'll hold down shift and press the right keyboard arrow key and that will move forward five frames. Then I will go ahead and click 200% to zoom in and then I can zoom in to where the lens flare is. There are two ways to move the lens flare. I could move it by dragging these numbers. You see how it moves left and right and up and down in the X and Y axis. I can also click on flare center. Then I'll see the center, but you need to be careful that you actually move the flare center on this frame because I could accidentally move this one or grab these handles and that'll change your animation. So I'm gonna press Control Z or Command Z to undo. Here we have a good position. Then I'll hold Shift, press right arrow key, move forward five frames, then move the lens into position. Hold Shift, right arrow key, move forward five frames, move it into position. Hold Shift, right arrow key, move it into position. And then we'll keep going and completing this. You want to move it into position and then go forward another five frames. You can adjust where this is. Then I'll hold shift, right arrow key, move forward five frames, move it into position. And then go through the entire time that you want it to be on the front part of your magic wand. Then once you've done all the keyframes, you can go back to fit. Then let's look at what we have. Now we have our magic wand has a glowing tip, and then our bananas up here. But let's add some animation to this glowing tip to make it look more realistic. So first, let's go to the first frame of our clip. And we have a keyframe set for brightness. I'm gonna put the brightness at zero to begin. And then I'm gonna move forward, let's say one, 10 frames, and I'll put the brightness at 50%. So now we have 50% brightness. And then we'll go all the way to where that marker is that we set earlier. This is where the bananas are gonna appear. And let's crank up the brightness. So now it's super bright as the bananas appear, but we don't want it to go slowly all the way to that brightness. We want that to happen quickly. So I'll hold shift, snap to that marker, hold the shift key and left arrow key one, five frames back. Yeah, I think that sounds good. And we'll put it back to 50%. And then we'll, hold shift, go to that marker, and then hold shift right arrow key. And then five frames after the bananas appear, we'll go back to 50%. We can probably have the light turn off somewhere around here. So I'll drop another keyframe by clicking the center button. And then I'll go five frames forward and turn it down to 0%. So let's take a look at that. Nice, we get that flash when the bananas come in and all we need is a great sound effect. We can make our own sound effects by going like whoosh. So let's do that. We can click this button right here and then we just record. Whoosh. So now we have this great sound effect that we can trim. We can zoom in a little bit, place it where it goes. I think that's great. And so now we have a really nice magic wand effect making our bananas appear. If you want to make the object disappear, it's exactly the opposite of where you place your bananas. So good luck making magic wand with glowing tips in your video projects.